He's out of the ring! <laughs> Looks like you're the one with nowhere to run. to adapt to dispose speed now. Are you sure? He fell! He's out of the ring! Ah! Wait. Looks like you're the one with nowhere to run. to adapt to dispose speed now. Are you sure? He fell! He's out of the ring! Ah! Wait. Looks like you're the one with nowhere to run.
All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Latanzi Field, home of the Campbell Spartans for game three out of three of this series with the Westlake Lions. Spartans have won the first two, winning game one here on Tuesday and then winning a rain-shortened game on Wednesday at Westlake and look to complete the series sweep in game three here tonight in the last home regular season game of the year. Take a quick look at the Spartans defensively tonight. Starting at first base is number 23, Alex Johns. Starting at second base is number four, Braden Lightsey. Starting at shortstop, number 17, William Blosser. Starting at third base, number 36, Nathan Taylor. Starting in left field is number seven, Ethan Lamphere. Starting in center field, number two, Joel James. And starting in left field, is number 34, Miles Young. Doing the catching for the Spartans tonight is number 21, Lucas Grantham. And his battery mate and on the mound for the Spartans is Milo Kennedy, who gets the start in game three of this series. So Kennedy getting his warm-up tosses down here. a much nicer day today than it's been in the past two games. On both Tuesday and Wednesday, there was scattered storms. Game on Wednesday was shortened because of rain. They played five innings, Spartans won in that game. But today, barely a cloud in sight, and it's going to remain that way. It's a hot day in the middle of April. From Smyrna, Georgia, Spartans wearing blue they're royal blues tonight. Blue jerseys, white pants, blue hats. White lettering and numerals outlined in black and the Cleveland style C in the top left for the Campbell logo. Westlake with a striped pattern jerseys. I think the base is blue with black and white stripes, black pants, black hats, and black lettering and numbers outlined in white and Westlake across the chest. And we are... Pretty much set to go here. Bryce Thomas, the shortstop, the starting shortstop, will lead it off for the Lions. And this one, they'll be the first to face Kennedy. And you are ready to go. Game three. Martins have that third seed locked up. But still a game you'd like to win. Kennedy ready. Starts his motion. Game on. We're underway. The first pitch is a ball to Thomas. Here's the 1-0 from Kennedy. Upstairs, ball two. So two balls and no strikes to Thomas. Here's a 2-0 pitch, outside ball three. Lions have struggled to find offense in this game. Only scored two runs offensively throughout the first two games. Spartans have gotten 19, I believe. That one outside, a four-pitch walk to Thomas to start the game. I'll bring up Cedric Lankford. Had a hit in game one. Four different starters in the batting order Today in game three and in game one for Westlake, that pitch a strike to Langford. Those are all towards the bottom of the order, and we'll get into those when they come around. Thomas leading from first on one pitch from Kennedy. 
We just missed too far outside, ball one. The breaking ball that just missed the corner. One, one, Kennedy set. Swung on, hit back to the mound. Uh, Lightsey there, gonna flip to Blosser at second and couldn't make the play. Gonna go down as an error. It'll be two on. The angle, and Lightsey made that flip to Blosser was right in the path of the sun, so maybe had some trouble with visibility. Not much time to react, that was a very short flip. For the Spartans in this one, Josh Kimball was acting as manager as Jackson Cargill has to take the rest of the series off after getting ejected in game one on Tuesday. This is Elias Gandy to catch her up in the first pitch to him a strike. He sets a couple looks, looks to the runner at second. Breaking ball that is too far outside. Ball one. Gandy in game one was in the nine hole and is now all the way up to the three spot. Here's a one one. Squares run a bunt, puts it down, and it's going to be fair. Grantham not going to have a play. It's a perfectly placed bunt by Gandy. And they're going to be loaded with nobody out and trouble in the first already for the Spartans. Bring up Corey Fortson. They have a pinch runner going for Candy at first. Pinch runner is DJ McKinnon. So Thomas from third, Langford from second, McKinnon from first, and now Corey Fortson, the right fielder, digs in. Nobody out. And he sets first pitch to Fortson. He's in there for a strike. Balls and a strike. I'm on low ball one. Try to get him to chase that breaking ball. Fortson didn't bite. There's a one one. Swung on, hit straight up. I think this one might get out of play, though, and it will. It'll be strike two. Desperate need of an out, Kennedy is. This would be a good chance to get it right here. Kennedy, set. Here is the one, two. Hit out to left. Lamphier coming in, still coming in. Will make the running catch. We're out number one. Throw coming home to the plate, and it is cut off. So one run will come in. Uh, it'll be the first out gotten by the Spartans, but it is one nothing Westlake lead. So productive out for Fortson. He gets credited with a sack fly and an RBI, and it's one nothing. Westlake on top. I'll bring up the third baseman, Averell Arnold. He's moved across the diamond, started at first base in game one. Still two runners on, one out. First pitch to Arnold, a ball. Looked like he was too far up. I want 
on their first strike. So one and one count on Arnold now. Kennedy comes set. Long look to the runner Langford at second. Now time called by Arnold. He's going to step out. One one the count. And that gets away from the catcher Grantham as that far outside and the runners will move up. Me ball two. Two one. Pitch from Kennedy. Ooh, that one just missed outside, it looked like. 3 1. Three balls and a strike. Fouled away. Strike two and a full count now. Three, two, the count. Payoff pitch outside, ball four. Good stop by Grantham. Ran that one from going to the backfield, and they're loaded once again. Time called. There's Law out. Talk with Kennedy. Justice Morris in the DH will be up. That quick word from Chris Law over, and now it's Morrison who will be up with the bases loaded, one out. First pitch to Morrison in there called strike. One, Kennedy set. There is the pitch. Nice breaking ball. Oh, was that called a ball? And look right down the middle. One, one to Morrison. Swung on, fouled away. Strike two. One, two on the Westlake DH. Trying to extend their one nothing lead. Here's the pitch. And it hits Morrison, and it'll bring in a run. One two count. A run has walked in and it's two to nothing. I'll bring up Savon Harper, the first baseman.
He gets to start there tonight. There's pitch to him, a ball. Oh, swung on. Foul tipped. Gets away, strike one. One ball, one strike. Swung on, miss. There's a good pitch. Strike two. Now back in a one-two count. And he is. One-two on the way. Wow, all the way. To get Harper to swing through, off-speed pitch. It looks like looks like Barber caught up to it. Did the adjustment fouled it away. One two yet again. Swung on and missed strike three. A huge second out for Kennedy. First strikeout of the game. And two down now. That will bring up DJ McLaughlin, the left fielder. First pitch to McLaughlin, a ball. There's a 1 0, swung on, foul away. Strike one. Even 1 1 count now. Kennedy set. There's a 1-1. One, one. Low ball two. Hitters count now, 2-1. Kennedy, quick check of all the runners. That one's there on the outside corner, strike two. Now 2-2, two, two, a strike away. Minimizing the damage to two runs. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Here's the pitch. And the dirt ball three. Count draws to full. Payoff on the way. Got him looking. Strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeout sends the inning for Kennedy. Westlake leaves the bases loaded. Do get two runs, however. And they lead two to nothing. We'll head to the bottom of the first with the Spartans try to get those two runs back when we get back right after this.
Black 2, Latanzi Field, bottom of the first. Slate got two runs in their top of the inning. Now it's the Spartans' offense turn to answer back. Take a look at their lineup for the game tonight. Been pretty consistent with what it's been the whole series. Leading it off will be number two, Joel James. He'll be followed by number four, Braden Lightsey. In the three spot will be number 17, William Blosser. In cleanup will be number 21, Lucas Grantham. Inning fifth will be number 23, Alex Johns. Inning sixth, number 14, Milo Kennedy. Inning seventh, number seven, Ethan Lamphere. Inning eighth, number 30, Jaden Knight. And batting ninth, number 36, Nathan Taylor. One more time, that's James Lightsey Blosser. Grantham, Johns, Kennedy, Lamphere, Knight, and Taylor. And their task to deal with on the mound for the Westlink Lions is Shane Murphy. We'll start with the lefty, James. Offensive production has been up these last two weeks. So James digs in, first pitch on the way. Swung on, fouled away. James looking to be aggressive, fights it off. Murphy from the wind up, a one. That one slung out to left field and down for a base hit. A leadoff single for James as he's aboard, and it will bring up Lightsey. Spartans hitting ways continue. Any way to get hot before the playoffs. That brings up Lightsey. Digs in, James leads from first. Steal attempt wouldn't surprise me, and neither does that pickoff attempt. Ball gets away, and James didn't recognize it in time to try and take off for a second. So he will be stuck over there at first. what the center fielder for Westlake was doing. It looked like he just ran to the fence. Might have been a ball out there that he threw out. But we're back to business now. Another one. That one's fouled away. James did take off on that one. First pitch to Lights. He's a strike. A foul ball. James will have to go back to first. A one, bounces in the dirt, past the catcher. James gonna take off for second, gonna get there with ease. That one went over Gandy's shoulders. That's how much in front that ball bounced. Granted, Gandy's not that big of a frame for a catcher, but still. Took quite the hop to get over him. Now one one the count. James is in in scoring position now. Murphy delivers to Lightsey. Swung on and missed, strike two. <clears throat> One, two. Might see calls time, backs out. Might see back in. On to the count, here's the pitch. Swung on hit on the ground to third. Third baseman Arnold up with it. Throw across the diamond to first. It's in time to get Lightsey, but James takes that opportunity to go to third. So productive out to move James over to third. Now he's 90 feet away. It'll bring up Blosser. Blosser, three singles in game one. 
on Tuesday. His production offensively has also been up as of recent. First pitch to him from Murphy. High fly ball, but out of play to the left side. Down onto Ward Street. Strike one. Zero one. This one hits straight up but backwards, and this one's also going to get out of play. Thing landed right in front of me. So o two on Blosser. Jesus. I saw it coming. I could have stuck my arm out and caught it, but you know, how close that thing was. O two to Blosser now. There's a pitch from Murphy. Hit on the ground to third. Arnold with a diving try. Can't get it. And Blosser's going to be there with an infield single. The run's going to come home and score. It's two to one. Blosser's hitting ways continue. And he nets an RBI. Arnold will bring up Grantham. Runner aboard and Blosser runs well and one out. We can't put one in a gap here. Try and maybe tie the game. First pitch from Murphy. Low ball one. Pickoff attempt to Blosser. He's back in safely. Got a sizable lead over at first. Shadows crawling onto the infield now. Another pickoff attempt. Blosser's in there safely again. I know to grant them now. Another one that bounced in there, 2 0. Two O. I'm catching the outside corner for a strike. Two one to grant them now. <clears throat> Two one pitch. Swung on hit past Arnold out into left field for a base hit. Blosser will stop at second and grant them at first. It's a one-out single and two runners on for the Spartans. It'll bring up Alex Johns. Two on and one out. Johns with a runner in scoring because there's no chance to tie the game here. Pinch runner McQuaid and for Grantham at first. So he leads from there. Blosser from second. Murphy, two looks at Blosser, delivers to Johns. First pitch is high, ball one. a 1-0. Murphy set just above the belt. Another one that bounces in there. Foster thought about taking off. Retreats back to second instead. Two balls and no strikes. Another one that's low. 3-0. Kennedy on deck. Oh, 
3-0 pitch. Taking all the way as Johns. It's in there for a strike. 3-1 <clears throat> count now. There's a 3-1. Swung on hit out to short. Thomas up with it. Flips the second for one on to first. And not in time. Johns beat the throw. That'll be two outs, but they'll be at the corners as Blosser moved up to third. A throw from Langford not nearly in time to get Johns, and now brings up Kennedy, who can help himself on the mound. With a nice piece of hitting here, he could come through. First pitch to Kennedy. Upstairs, ball one. There's a one O. Oh. And they just got Murphy for a balk. That'll bring home the tying run. And it'll put Johns at second base. Foster was dancing over there at third a little bit and might have thrown Murphy off. He comes home and scores, and we got a tie game at 2-2. Two two. Not only one aboard, it's Johns at second base. The 1-0 -oh pitch to Kennedy. It's a ball. Two balls and no strikes. Runs inside. 3 0. Supposed to hit in Kennedy. He turned away at the last second. Now Gandhi out to talk with Murphy on the mound. Quick little word from Gandhi, who's going to go back to the spot behind the plate. Three balls and no strikes to the opposing pitcher. And fear the left fielder on deck. Three zero, taking all the way is Kennedy, and that's in there for a strike. Three one, the count now. On the ground to third. Arnold a slip, and the ball slips out of his hand. I don't know if it was... If slipping on his feet caused him to slip, caused the ball to slip out of his hands. But nonetheless, everybody's safe. As Kennedy's in there at first, John's made it to third, and now it's Lamphere. The chance to put put the Spartans in front should he come through with a hit here. First pitch from Murphy to Lamphere. Low ball one. Pinch runner Cooper Watkins in for the pitcher Milo Kennedy. Pick off 
throw to Watkins over at first. Ball's dropped. John's thought about breaking for the plate, but he stays put. One zero -oh, outside, two zero. -oh. Two balls, no strikes. It's from Murphy. Swung on miss by Lamphere. It's out in front of that outside pitch. Now two and one. Murphy coming set. Runner Watkins takes off. Another one swung out of miss. Throw down to second. Nowhere near in time. They get Watkins, he's in there safely. 2-2 two -two to Lamphere now. <clears throat> Stolen base for Cooper Watkins. And now two in scoring position with two outs. And Lamphere down to his last strike. Two's all over the place. Upstairs, three and two. Full count, 3-2 to Lamphere. Three two. Payoff from Murphy. Oh, got him looking. Strike three, outside corner. And a strikeout ends the bottom of the first for the Spartans. But they do tie the game, get two of those runs back from West. They get a 2-2 score. We'll add to the second. We'll be back right after this. to Latanzi Field, top of the second, a 2-2 two -two score. Milo Kennedy back to work. Not a rocky first, but hopefully he's found his groove. Looking to have a better second inning here. Grant Bartell will lead it off for the Lions. And the first pitch from Kennedy. Swung on, little bloop over the third baseman, Taylor's head, and into left field, a base hit. On one pitch, a leadoff single for Bartell. And base runner board for the Lions. Their lineup cycles back to the top, and it's Bryce Thomas who will be up. First pitch to Thomas is in there called strike one. Oh one. Runner takes off for second. It's fouled away by Thomas. Bartell's gonna have to go back to first. 
Oh, two for Thomas now. <clears throat> oh, two the count. Ooh, just outside. That was a spot Kennedy wanted it. I can't. Yeah, Thomas rung up as 1 2 now. Kennedy sets. Here's the 1 2. Popped straight up on the infield. Lights he tracking it, makes the catch. Four out number one. So one down here. It'll bring up Che uh, Cedric Lankford. Runner takes off for second. Throw down to second is not in time. Bartell in there. A really good jump. Pitch was a strike to Langford, but now lines with the runner in scoring position. <clears throat> Zero one. It was low. All one. One one. Kennedy set. And now they got the runner hung up. Low throw, nice scoop by Blosser. High throw back and oh. Bartel's gonna get in there safely. It's a low throw from Kennedy to Blosser. It's already made a good pick to save it. But then the throw high over to third. And it gave Bartell just enough time to get in there. Now the go-ahead run for Westlake 90 feet away. 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit to third. Taylor looks the runner back. Flips to first. It's high. And the runner going to come home easily. Lankford around second. Heading for third. The throw into third. And not in time. So three to two Westlake lead now. Number six, Elias Gandy. Hey, catch your Gandy up now. Pitch to Gandy upstairs, ball one. One oh, another one upstairs. Two oh. Two one, just a bit too high. Ball three. Three zero, -oh. upstairs. Four pitch walk to Gandhi, and they'll be at the corners with one out. <clears throat> 
I'll bring up Corey Fortson. At the corners with one out. So far through two innings, Westlake already scored more offensively than they have in the first two games combined. First pitch from Kennedy to Forsen. He's away and low. All one. One zero, hit out to left. It's down in front of Lamphere. One run is in, and everybody only going to advance one base. They hit for Forsen, makes it four to two. Westlake lead. And Chris Law out again to talk to Kennedy. Arnold, the third baseman, will be up next. Well, that's only a quick word, at least to Kennedy. From Law, but he'll go talk to the home plate umpire instead. And I think some adjustments are going to be made here. I know Kennedy's been taken out of the game. He's been done. Chris, uh, Alex Johns has come into the game to take over for Kennedy. Kennedy will go to the outfield. And Boomer Dunn will come in for Miles Young. Kennedy will go to right field. Johns to the mound and Boomer Dunn to first base. So Kennedy only goes one and a third innings of work. You know, four runs, two hits. Two walks and two strikeouts. So John's going to get his warm-ups in. We'll go off the mic and be back when he's ready. Johns has finished his warm-ups. Third baseman, number 22, Everett Arnold. Everell Arnold, the third baseman. Up for the Lions, two on, one out. Johns will start from the windup. With the runner at second, first pitch. Outside, ball one. Oh no, swung on, fouled away. Sounds with that quick motion. And there's runners on, hopefully. We'll keep these base runners in check. <clears throat> one, one, runners take off, swing, swung on and missed. The ball gets away. And, of course, right as I say that, you have a double steal attempt. Was a strike, so strike two. A one-two count, but there's two runners in scoring position now. Only one out. Strike out here would be huge for Johns to get his feet wet. One.
One, two, hit in the air, two left, charging in his lamp fear. He'll stop, settle under it. Throw comes home. It will be cut off by Taylor, so it'll be a sack fly. Another run will come in to score. They'll make it a 5-2, but there'll be two outs now. That's just Morrison. First pitch from Johns to Morrison. Out there on the corner, strike one. One inside corner this time, 0-2. Oh, two. Runner takes off for third. Chopped. And, oh, that one's going to stay fair. Just on the line. Taylor and Johns both crowded it, hoping it would bounce foul, but it never did. And they'll be at the corners with two outs. Truly really unfortunate. I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. It was chopped and bounced so high that Morrison was going to make it anyways. Both Taylor and Johns decide to let it roll foul, and it never does. 5-2, so the runners at the corners now. First pitch to Harper. The first baseman a strike. Swung on, hit out to short. Blosser charges it, bobbles it, picks it up, throws to first, not in time. And as far as we're trying to say that the runner never touched the base, they say he did. So chaos everywhere, nobody out. Still runners at the corners. Now it's six to two. Excuse me, still five to two. Well, hold on. A run came across the score. They're not showing it, but. Yeah, it is 6 to 2. Okay. Four runs second for the Lions. DJ McLaughlin, the left fielder. This one chopped the first. Done with it. We'll take it to the bag himself. For the third and final out, Westlake does his damage, though. Plates four in the second, making it a 6-2 to two ball game. A lot of work for the Spartans. And their bottom half when we get back right after this.
So we'll go back to Latanzi Field. Develop and story have a scoring misconfusion here. Got a that half the people up there have six to two like us, but the game score was five to two. So we'll keep it at this and try and figure it out. Jaden Knight will lead off. Uh, first pitch to him from Murphy is upstairs, ball one. <laughs> one oh pitch. Upstairs, 2-0. Oh. Two balls and no strikes. Skip sky. All three. It's a long second inning, so maybe Murphy's trying to get we acclaimed to game speed. I just had a technical issue. Still trying to figure out this score debacle. Uh, Knight takes first base on a on a walk. I think it was. That'll bring up Taylor. I have about it's about a 50-50 split between people who have said five two and people who have said six two. So still trying to. First pitch to Taylor, a ball. That one inside, 2-0. Two and oh, the count on Knight. Swung on, or count on Taylor. Swung on, hit in the air to the right side. And it is caught. And Knight got to get back. He's back there in time. So one down here, Knight's still aboard. It cycles back to the top of the order to James. Well, if the presentation's a little sporadic here. Still trying to figure out their scoring debacle. James up, had a base hit in the first inning. And we're trying to refer to Game Changer for an answer. And uh, both Game Changers for either team have differing answers, of course. It's like having 6-2. Camels having 5-2, so once again, nobody knows what the score is, but we'll try and look back and see if we can figure it out by the time the third inning rolls around. Runner takes off for second. This one hit out to center field by James. Going back, the center fielder, it's over his head. All the way to the wall. Knight had to wait up a bit, and he's going to be into third. 
And it's a one-out double for Joel James. He's two for two. All of a sudden, James is smoking hot from the plate. That'll bring up lights. He had a sack, or not a sacrifice, but he had a ground ball that moved James to third in his last at bat, a productive out. Now time cold. I pitch a ball. One oh. Straight up by Lightsy on the infield. There is Murphy. He'll make the catch for out number two. He'll bring up Blosser. Also with a base hit in the first. Murphy set. First pitch to Blosser. Swung on, hit out to left, and oh, caught. Left fielder was playing in, and he makes the catch for out number three. We'll head to the third and be back right after this. Welcome back to Leah Tansy Field for the third. Finally got the scoring debacle worked out. Uh, third inning, six to two. And Bartell will lead it off. And the first pitch by Bartell is hit out to center. James is there, runs in, and makes the catch on the run for out number one. That'll cycle the Westlake order back to the top and Bryce Thomas. This one, another one hits straight up in the air. This one towards Kennedy out and right. Kennedy coming in, now stops, throws up the glove, makes the catch, back-to-back -back outs. 
Quick inning is what the Spartans need. And so far, two down quickly. Hit will bring up Cedric Langford. You know, if he handled the bat foul to the right side, strike one. <laughs> oh, one. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Nice pitch by Johns. Looking for a quick one, two, three here in the third. Spartans looking to bring the bats alive here. See where to quickly get through this inning. Here's the 0 2. Fouled away. No balls, two strikes. Pitch from Johns to Langford. Upstairs, ball one. There's a one, two. And that hits. Langford on the back, so we'll take first base. And that goes the one, two, three inning. And it'll bring up Gandy. Now batting number six, the catcher, Elias Gandy. First pitch, way over everyone's head. Runner going to take off for a second. They're going to be there safely. One, two to Gandhi. That is Johns. There is the pitch. High ball two. Did I say one two? I meant one zero. Oh. No, it's two zero. Oh. Upstairs three and zero. Oh. Rio count to the Westlake catcher. Fortson awaits on deck. Should Gandy reach? That one's in there for a strike. It's a 3-1. Outside, ball four. Two out walked again. He puts him at first and second. Going to bring up Fortson. Pretty soon we're going to McMillan in for Gandy. Fortson digs in. Downs comes set. Outside. Excuse me, on the outside corner, strike one. No balls and a strike. Downs set. There is the pitch. Swung on, hit hard to short. Speared by Blosser. Going to go to second, fell over, 
But he made the play for out number three. Nice play. And down go the Westlake Lions in the third. No runs, two, run, two runners stranded. Led to the bottom of the third. Still a 6-2. Westlake lead when we get back. Back from the Tansy Field, bottom of the third, 6-2. Westlake leads, Spartans a chance, or Spartans looking, excuse me, try and get some of these runs back and get themselves back in the game. Leading off will be Lucas Grantham. Murphy back to the windup. First pitch to Grantham. Watches a breaking ball in the zone for strike one. Oh, one pitch on the way. Just outside, ball one. One, one. Chopped. Gonna be a tough play. Throw to first. Not in time. Grant the beat it. Another one of those high choppers. Westlake had one of those go their way earlier. Spartans get one to go their way now. It's a leadoff hit. For Lucas Grantham. Bring up Johns. First pitch to Johns. Outside, all one. Andy doesn't squeeze it, but it doesn't get far enough away for the pinch runner McQuaid at first. Try and take off. Runner now takes off. This one gets all the way away. McQuaid might get to third, and he thinks about it, but then shuts it down at second. But he's in his scoring position now.
2-0 pitch to Johns and a little corkscrew foul. 2-1. Murphy set. 2 1 pitch to Johns. 3 1. Three one. A couple looks at McQuaid. Got Murphy distracted. Hit on the ground to third. Backhanded by Arnold. McQuaid takes off for third. Throw to first in time to get Johns, but McQuaid in there at third, and the run is 90 feet away. One down, they'll bring up Kennedy. Out of the game off the mound, but still in there at right field, and still a chance to help offensively with his bat. This one out to short by Kennedy. John, uh, Thomas there and makes the play. McQuaid comes in to score. And make it a 6-3 to three ball game. Productive out. And it brings up Lamphere. Two down with the bases empty. First pitch to Lamphere, a strike. The yeah, one pitch, a ball. Two one or one 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 pitch too far inside two and one. Three one outside or two one excuse me outside ball three. Three one filed away and I'll make it a full count of three two. Three two full count with two outs and the payoff from Murphy on the way. Swung on, hit out to right, but foul. Another payoff on the way. Swung on and missed strike three. And down go the Spartans in the third. They get one back. Make it a 6-2-3 ball game. We will head to the fourth. Alex Johns back to work on the mound when we get back right after this.
Back from Latanity Field, top of the fourth. Alex Johns back to work. First batter he faces is Arnold. First two pitches, balls, make it 2-0. Two-o pitch from Johns swung on, hit out to left. If it lands fair, it's getting it's down for trouble, and it is. Lanfear over to get there. Arnold coming into second, and he'll get there with no throw. It's a leadoff double for the Lions and Arnold. I'll bring up the DH Morrison. Lake Bats came to play today. Now Arnold at second in scoring position. Morrison shows bunt, pulls back. Pitch outside a ball. Goes bunt again. Gets it down, but foul. I'll play an umpire might be giving Johns a warning about something balk related. One one they count on Morrison now. One one, let's see if Morrison tries to square around. He shows it. Pitch from Johns, pulls back, swinging away, but takes. It's a ball outside. Two on the count of Morrison now. And it bounces in there, ball three. One pitch. There's a strike. Now a three two count. The West Lake DH. Payoff pitch. Chopped. Please get foul this one. And it does. So. Morrison will come back. And I'll still be 3 2. Johns has a sign, come set. Another payoff on the way. Ooh, just missed ball four. Oh. So 
Now runners at first and second. It'll bring uh, Parper, the first baseman. Nobody out. First pitch to Harper, a strike. John set. Yo, one pitch. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Swung on and missed strike three. That was a big strikeout. And one down here in the fourth. The ring of a clock on the left fielder. Left fielder DJ McLaughlin in. First pitch on the outside corner, strike one. Jail <laughs> one. Swung on, fouled away. Strike two. O oh, two. On McLaughlin, John's coming set. Long look to the runner at second, now delivers, it's upstairs. Ball on, Grantham gets up as if he's gonna throw back to second, but the runner gets back. Oh, and they're going to get Johns for a balk. For what? The only thing I can think of is he fell off now. Not this again. Let's not have another a second coach ejected arguing a balk this time. The only thing I can think of is that Johns fell over or if he made a move towards the mound that we couldn't see from up here. See the only two explanations, but now there are two runners in scoring position, one out. One, two on McLaughlin. And field in, and it hits McLaughlin, and he'll take his base. I'm going to hit him on the knob of the bat. Doesn't seem to look like it hit him on the hands, but he hit his line there on the knob of the bat or the handle. Still one, two. Hit to first, done. Going to touch the base and try to spin around and throw home, but couldn't keep his balance, stumbled over. A run will score, and the second out is recorded, but it's 7-3 to three Westlake now. I 
someone behind Bartel. Grantham can't find the ball. Bounces behind him. But John's there, scoops it up before that runner can, at third, can come home. Runs a 1 0 in there. Strike one. Even count one, swung on, fouled away by him. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Upstairs, ball two. Chop to third. Taylor with a nice play. Throw to first in time. Four out, number three. Westlake tax on one more. We'll lead to the bottom of the fourth. A 7-3 to three Westlake lead. And we get back right after this. For the bottom of the fourth, Jaden Knight to lead it off. He's got a walk, and now he's got a hit by pitch. So he will take his base. Quick start in the fourth, but the Spartans will bring up Taylor. First pitch to Taylor. That's low ball one. One oh swung through. Big swing and a miss by Taylor. Throw over, pick off to Knight at first. He's back in safely.
One one count on Taylor. Swung on line foul. And we took off Chris Law's head over at third. A foul ball, nonetheless, strike two. Murphy steps off. Now back on one two to Taylor. Top of the order looming. Runner Knight takes off her second. Throw down to second is too short. Or excuse me, too far, too short and too far to the right. Knight's in there safely with a stolen base. Pitch was a ball. Two, two on Taylor. Right now leading from second. Hit high in the air to the left side. Third baseman Arnold running back. Foul territory. Well, catches it in fair territory, but makes the catch out number one. So to bring up James, he's two for two. Single and a double for him. And I don't even know what just, Knight just stole third. Yes, Knight decided that Murphy was taking too long getting set to pitch to James that he took third. Well, that was a run 90 feet away now. First pitch to James, up high, ball one. One to James. Bounces in the other batter's box. 2-0. Swung on and miss. Two balls and a strike. Another one that skips up in there. Three one to James. Part of the order looming with Lightsey Blosser and Grantham. Chance here to plate some runs. Three one, fouled away by James. Three two, payoff pitch to James. Fouled it away. So James fights that off just to stay alive. Murphy set. Another payoff on the way. Outside, ball four. James fashions a walk. They're at the corners. I'll bring up Lightsey with one out. Thank you. 
Knight from third, James from first. And now James taking off for second, and now they got to pay attention. And <laughs> Murphy don't know what to do with the ball. A couple of fake throws. And at the end of all those fake throws, no throw is ever given to either second or third base. James is in there at second, another two in scoring position with one out. Let's see a chance to bring home two here with a base hit. On and missed. Strike one for the first pitch. Oh one. Called strike two. Oh, two. Got him looking. Strike three. Lightsey's frozen on a breaking ball and two down now. That brings up Losser. Two hits for him on the day. Now hits with two outs and two runners in scoring position. First pitch to him. The breaking ball that was too far upstairs. Ball one. One zero. Murphy steps off. <clears throat> One ball, no strikes. Hit out to right. Right fielder Fortson is there and will make the catch for out number three. And those runners are left stranding. They led to the fifth, still a seven to three. A slick lead when we get back right after this. Welcome back to Latanzi Field, top of the fifth. Alex John still working on the mound. Got some movement in the Campbell bullpen. Can't tell if anyone's actually throwing out there, though. Thomas will lead off. First pitch to him outside. Thomas. 
1 0 pitch. Low, ball two. Two oh. It's fouled away. Oh my God. Strike one. Here's a two one. Hit on the ground to short. Blosser up with it. Long throw to first in time to get Thomas. One down. Yep. Oh. That'll bring up Langford. <clears throat> um, Thomas taking a quite a long time to get back to the dugout. Now we're ready. Langford now. First pitch from Johns. Too high. Ball one. One's there in the outside corner. Strike one. Chopped. Yeah, Taylor going to give way to Blosser. Long throw, and they beat it. Nice play. Good throw by Blosser. Nice stretch by Dunn. Two down. And the Wesley coach out to argue his case. He thinks that Langford was safe. Langford thinks that Langford was safe. As he stand. Relatively close to the first base bag. Now he's going to get on the bag. Let's see. So, yeah, nothing was changed down there. Langford's out. Uh, two down now. We'll bring up Gandy. First pitch to Gandy, foul tipped. Hit in the air to right, Kennedy to his left. We'll make the catch a one, two, three inning for Johns in the fifth. We'll add to the bottom of the fifth. Still a seven, three Westlake lead. Spartan Bats coming up right after this.
<laughs> Welcome back. Bottom of the fifth. Lucas Grantham to lead it off. It is still Murphy going strong for the Lions on the mound. <clears throat> so the Campbell catcher to lead off, be followed by Johns. And then Kennedy hopefully try and get some runs together here. First pitch of the fifth. I uh, couldn't tell if it was low or outside or both, but ball one. That one's a strike. One, one. The one, one, hit out to second. And on to first, one down. Bring up Johns. Base is empty, one down for Johns. First pitch called strike. That one skips in there. Ball one. Uh, that one bounced and bounced uh, way before the plate. Two one to Johns. Hit in the air to the right side. Foul territory. No one's going to get there. It's going to get down. It'll be a 2-2 count. Two two count to Johns. Murphy set. Upstairs, ball three. <clears throat> Full count. Three balls and two strikes. Murphy starts his wind up. Payoff on the way. Outside ball four. And Johns will take a free pass. That'll bring up Kennedy. Johns with the lead from first. Lions are looking for any offense trying to get back into this one. That pitch uh, called strike. And speaking of any offense trying to get them back into this one, Alex Dominguez has grabbed a bat and will pinch hit. Or I think that's Lamp Fierce spot who is next. And that one, a ball. So with this introduction, I think. It'll put Jada Knight, who's at DH, out to right field. They'll probably move Kennedy around. This one's hitting the air to center. And then right at the center fielder. And two down now. But I think at least Knight will go into the outfield, barring a double switch. And Dominguez will now come up.
So Dominguez hits. Runner on, two outs. <clears throat> First pitch to Dominguez. Oh, called strike. Mm. I guess it hit the outside corner. I guess it did. Oh, one. Swung on, hit in the air to center. Relatively same spot as Kennedy. And the catcher's made. Round number two. Back-to-back -back hits. Back-to-back -back well hit balls. Just right at the center fielder. And down go the Spartans in the fifth. We will add to the sixth. Still a 7-3 lead when we get back. Top of the sixth, Corey Fortson to lead it off. It is still Alex Johns on the mound for the Spartans. First pitch to Fortson. There's a strike. Lions up three. This one hard hit by Fortson deep to center, and that ball is gone. A solo home run by Fortson to lead off the sixth. And you knew that off the crack of the bat. It makes it eight to three, a Westlake lead. After Fortson puts a blast into that one, that'll be the end of the day on the mound for Johns. And Johns will exit the game, and it'll be Joel James to take over on the mound. Don't know who they're going to replace James in center field with. Let's see. Well, Miles Young will go back into the game. So 
So it'll be Young, Lamphere, and Kennedy in the outfield. James will move to the mound. No other defensive switches. We'll go off that set while James warms up. James has finished his warm-ups and now facing Arnold. First pitch to him, a swinging strike for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Hit out and a base hit. So a single for Arnold puts him aboard. I'll bring up Morrison. Excuse me, it'll be Austin Hubbard who's grabbed a bat. And he comes into the game for the first time today. Pitch to Hubbard to strike. Oh, one is low, ball one. Here's a one one in there. Strike two. Here's the one, two. James just firing heaters in there. That swung on strike three. Got a good run on that fastball and it shows there. Strike out on Hubbard for out number one. Bring up Savon Harper, the first baseman. Taking strike one. Swung on and missed, 0-2. Balls, two strikes, game set. Did he go? Yes, he did. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Wow. So two down now. I'll bring up McLaughlin. Now 
So two down now to McLaughlin. First pitch, swung on, hit on the ground. Blosser with a long play and can't get it off the backhand. Would have been a tough play. And to go down as an infield hit. So two aboard with two outs. Will be Grant Bartell. First pitch to Bartell is a ball. One ball, no strikes. James along with the runner at second. This one hit in the air. That one's going to get down. Over to cut it off is Lamphere. One run is in. And it'll be 9-3 to three on the double by Bartell. I'll cycle back to Thomas at the top of the order. James comes set, first pitch to Thomas. Swan on, miss, strike one. One. <clears throat> oh, missed, that's ball one. One, one. One low, it looked like. Ball two. Maybe inside, two. <laughs> two balls on a strike. Hit high in the air, center field, Lamphere to his right a couple steps under it, and will make the catch for out number three. And there go the Lions in the top of the six. They tag on an additional two more off a solo homer and then a double led to the bottom of the six, a 9-3 Westlake lead when we get back.
We'll go back to the Tansy Field, bottom of the sixth. New pitcher in for the Lions is DJ McKinnon. Jaden Knight will lead off to be the first batter to face him. Barnes down six, and only six outs left. Try and get those six runs back. First pitch a ball. <clears throat> Close the book on. Murphy went five innings, giving him three runs and five hits. Pretty good day for him. That one way outside, ball two. See if the Farns can try and jump on McKinnon this inning, try and play a few. Make it a little bit easier for themselves in the ninth. 2-0 pitch. Nice taken. There's a strike. In there, strike two. Now, two two count on night. Two two pitch from McKinnon. Did night go? Oh, they say he did. Wow. So, night goes down swinging in air quotes, and where's one out in the six? It'll bring up Taylor. Taylor with the bases empty. First pitch, a ball. A strike. 1-1 one, one to Taylor. James on deck. Strike two. Strike three to Taylor. He's set down on strikes. And quickly two down here in the six will bring up James. Pitch to James. Ooh, ooh, outside corner, strike one. Whoa. I'm on way upstairs. Ball one. One, one, skied foul out of play to the left side. One and two to James now. <clears throat> One two pitch from McKinnon. Low ball two. Swung on and missed. Adam swinging strike three. One two three. Go the Spartans in the bottom of the sixth. We'll head to the seventh. One more inning. Still a nine three Westlake lead when we get back right after this.
Last inning in the Tansy Field, 9-3 Westlake lead. James still going to be pitching for the seventh inning. Uh, be led off by, that's Langford. First pitch to Langford, a ball. There's a strike. So one one to Langford now. Two one. Upstairs it looked like three one. Three one pitch from James. Top of the zone, strike two. Length for Newman. Full count now. Pay off. Gets away from him. Lead off walk. Andy up now. <clears throat> First pitch to Gandy in there, strike one. Say for a ball, one one now. Swung on, fouled away. Running took off for second. Langford have to go back to first. One, two. Pick off throw to Langford. He's back in safely. There's a one, two. Got him swinging strike three. And down goes Gandy on strikes. And that will bring up Fortson, who went yard last time off of Johns. He'll now face. He'll now face James for the first time. First pitch to Fortson. Up and away, ball one. Another pickoff move. And Langford back in safely. Oh no. Also up and away, 2 0. -oh. One that misses away, 3 0. -oh. Two 
Two balls and no strikes to Fordston. And that was called strike. That one hit in the air, center field. This one much shallower than the last one. And Lampier will make the catch. We're out number two. That will bring up, will bring up Arnold. Arnold hits with two down and a man on. Runner takes off, swung on. It's going to be a foul ball, so the runner's going to have to go back. Strike one. <clears throat> oh, one pitch fouled away. Strike two. O2 to Arnold. <clears throat> Outside, Arnold didn't chase. There's a one-two. Got him swinging. Strike three. And down goes Arnold on strikes for the third and final out. Spartans get through the seventh. Unscathed, but only three more outs for them, and they trail six. We'll be back for the bottom of the last and final inning right after this. Bottom of the seventh, three outs left, six runs to get, and it'll start with Lightsey. And McKinnon, and I'll try and finish it off. It'll be Lightsey, Blosser, and then Grantham. So, hard of the order, but a lot of work to do. I'd see his hit list tonight. McKinnon ready first pitch to Lightsey. Is low and away ball one. One oh, swung on, hit. High, I'll territory. Let's stay in play. It will, but 
miscommunication and the ball drops. It was the pitcher McKinnon and the first baseman Harper and the miscommunication. Pitcher Gandy was there, but mainly Harper and McKinnon with the miscommunication. And that one falls for strike one. And low ball two. Two one. Filed away. You can count it two two now. Even count two two. Stairs nearly hits Lightsey. 3 2 now on a full count to lead off the seventh. Payoff pitch. Hit in the air pretty well out to center field. Center fielder coming in and will make the catch for out number one. Well, Blosser has two hits in this one. We'll now come up with one down. <clears throat> A called strike. Start off Blosser. On the count, there is the pitch. And low ball one. <laughs> one, one, chop. That one's going to roll foul. Ball two. One, two. I fly to shallow center, shortstop. Going back. Center fielder comes in and makes the catch. Two down. And Spartans are down to their last out. It'll be Grantham. Pitch to Grantham a ball. 1-0. Stairs ball two. Two-0 upstairs, 3-0. Three balls and no strikes to the Campbell catcher. And taking all the way as a strike. Skied to the left side. It will go out of play. And now Grantham down to his last strike in a 3-2 count. Full count. Two outs. Last inning. McKinnon ready. And Grantham calls time. We'll back out. Payoff pitch. Ball four. And runner aboard is Grantham. We have two outs. Give the Spartans another batter. We'll bring up Johns. So base runner aboard, and they'll keep Grantham there. Not go bother with the 
the pinch runner, McQuaid. McKinnon sets to the stretch now, and Johns lines past the shot, the dive of the shortstop into center field, a base hit. So two runners aboard now, and now it's Kennedy. Well, that'd be it for McKinnon. And that will be it for McKinnon. So he will exit with only one out left to get. And we'll give you word on the new pitcher in just a sec. New pitcher is Corey Fortson, the guy who hit the solo home run two innings ago. Well, now he will come in for one out. Got one out. It will be Kennedy he'll face. <clears throat> two runners on, Grantham at second. Johns at first. And Kennedy will be the batter. So, Fortson done with his warm-ups. Kennedy ready to step in to the box. First pitch, outside, ball one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
One zero pitch from Fortson. Ball two. Two zero on Kennedy. Ports and sets. Quick look at Grantham. Three balls and no strikes now. <clears throat> and fear on deck should Kennedy reach. Three oh. There's a strike. Kennedy taking all the way. Three one. All four. And a walk to Fortson's first batter, and the bases are going to be loaded for Lamphier. Fortson now surrounded by Spartans on the bases and Lamphere, the lefty, the batter. First pitch from Fortson. Ooh, called strike, top of the zone. There's the 0 1. Fouled away. 0 2. Lamphere down to his last strike. O two, 2 pitch from Fortson. Low ball one. Ooh. It's close, but below the knees. Good take by Lamphere. One, two. There it is. Outside. Good call. Been a couple of those have been questionable today, but that one's too far outside. 2-2. Two, two. Even counts a lamp fear. He got away with that close one. Got to expand the zone here. Two balls and two strikes. Fortson delivers. Fouled away. Lamp fear fought it off. <clears throat> Two two. Once again, forts and set. Upstairs. Good take, ball three. And a full count to Lamphere now. Three two. A full count on Lamphere. Fortson. Comes set, but Lamphere calls time and backs out. A couple deep breaths. Lefty steps back in. Fortson. The righty comes set. Payoff pitch. And it hits him. That'll bring a run home. Nine to four. That'll bring up Jaden Knight. Knight's walked and been hit by a pitch. So no official at bats. That has reached in each plate appearance. And looking to reach again here. Bring it on and reach for the next guy. Mike digs in. First pitch to him. Oh, outside corner. Strike one. O 
a one. It's a foul ball. Well, now Knight down to his last strike. <clears throat> oh, 2 on Knight. Fortson goes to the windup now. He's changed his approach. Here's the 0 2. Nearly hits him in the head. Ball one. That's a one two. Hit in the air, center field. It's slicing and it'll be caught for the third and final out. Hung up just a bit too long, and that'll do it. Final score, nine to four. Westlake avoids the sweep and wins game three. I will drop Campbell to I believe a thirteen and twelve record. Let's lake to a 12 and 13 record. Both teams finish with a three and five record in region play. We'll wait to see how seeding works out. Spartans do have a game bright and early tomorrow at Truist Park against Tifteria Academy. And we'll have live there, so be sure to tune in. And next week, the playoffs begin. We'll be there for that as well. But for tonight, that is all from Latanzi Field. Once again, final score nine to four on Nicholas Clauser with the Spartan Sports Network. Signing off. Good night, folks.